Great first session to Jonathan here at Destination Dallas. It's Josh Bryant, Jonathan Irizarry signing off. 500 is coming and possibly more. Press! There you go. Press! Come on. Press! There you go. No Vaseline, baby. Like uh, starting to just step by step adjusting things a little bit. So are you, do you feel like your legs are driving at all or no? I mean, I wasn't using my legs there. No. But do you, can you? you yeah, think? yeah. Okay. Well, that's why like whenever uh, I'm going heavy, I really get my feet underneath me. And okay, everything. cool. Show me how your feet are going to be when you get when you get heavy, okay? Just so I can see. Yeah. Good, I like that. There you go. Good. I need to stretch my quads out more. All right, so when you go and when you think about it, it's almost like, you know, you're in a bodybuilding, so almost thinking about doing like a leg extension through the front of your, your foot, okay? Mm -hmm. That's gonna, cause you're not, you're not just putting your feet into the ground. Mm -hmm. It's like there, it's like if we did a, a graph, you have that X and that Y axis, so you're kind of putting it out, you're kind of doing both ways okay. to go into the bar. So when you're pushing, it's not just pushing up like a hip extension, right. it's not just pushing out, it's kind of like in between at that angle right, right. there. And that complements the bar because the bar pattern, you know, you're going here and you go back toward your eye in that inverted J curve right there. So that, that's exactly what we want to get right there. So we kind of complement that. We get the leg drive right, complements the bar path perfect. So um, here on out, we're going to really focus on being explosive, okay? So we're not thinking about contracting your chest. We're thinking about point A, point B, explosively as possible. So it's a movement, not the muscle. You want to fire that shit like boom. Even though it's light. You want me to rest it, then push? Yes, so I'm gonna okay. call you the pause, exactly. Okay. I'll call you press, okay? Yep. Just one rep. Press! Perfect. There we go, explosive, one rep, come on. Good, better. Okay, so what we're focusing on right here, we're getting that barbell to move from point A to point B as explosively as possible, even these sub-maximal mates. You thought force is mass times acceleration. So if we don't get that acceleration, we're leaving a lot on the table. Because think about it, if we can accelerate, you know, much more, like, you know, if he goes 316 pounds warming up here, it's gonna be a sales place, but he puts maximum force into it. We get all of those training adaptations. We get those maximal strength adaptations with submaximal weight going from point A to point B as explosively as possible through the entire range of motion. Here we go, champ. I want you to, come on. I want you to share this with me. I didn't even wear the sleeves, bro. Here we go. Come on. I took the sleeves off for Let's you. Let's go, champ. Here we go. Let's go. Come on. There you go. Get tight. Right, right there. Two. Up. Perfect. Oh. Press. Oh. Yeah. Press. Perfect. Oh. Good. Ooh. Good. Hey, I got my nail. Good. Good. So today, what we focused on maximizing the leg drive, getting you know, getting get tight and engaged. How to do it so it complements the bar path of the movement. On top of that, really focusing on the intent there. Last time, I don't want to give him a bunch of instruction to focus on the intent, I want to see where he's at, then what we can do to get it better. So it's not gonna be just the program. We are supplying you with a great program here by watching this, but it's also the intent. You gotta move that weight from point A to point B as explosively as possible. This is not a shoving match outside of a frat house. This is a knife fight outside of a chicken stab bar in West by God, Virginia. Press! Explode, come on, you gotta explode harder. Press! There you go. Press! Good. Here we go. Squeeze to the top. Here we go. Come on. Up. Down. 
Down. Down. Three more. Down. 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 Good. Okay, so right here, basically what we're doing today is we're going off. Jonathan wants to bench 500 pounds because obviously it'd be extremely heavy to start at 405, but max at 440. I don't think that's reflective of where he really is. By just getting the leg drive, the intentionality of the reps right, he's going to increase. But he wants to get with, to 500 pounds within 12 weeks. So what we're going to do after the 405, he's going to 375. That's 75 for 500. And what he's going to do is he's going to focus on really exploding these reps as hard as possible. So the intent, point A to point B, as explosively as possible through the entire range of motion. We're going to do that six times. That'll be supersetted with um, a very low incline, kind of hybrid seal row type of deal. And he's going to get there and just hold that position for about two seconds right there and really maximize that contraction back and forth. Boom, boom, rest 90 seconds. We will do that six times. And we're, this is right here, a lot of the works go, we're getting the intensity on the heavier set, but a lot of the magic's happening right here in the 75% range of where he's gonna be. Okay, so that's gonna build the skill of bench pressing. We get balls out heavy, the skill, it's a little hard to be so skillful. Let's lighten up where we can get the skills right there. Besides keeping the upper back the upper back being tight when you bench press, being an important component of um, you know the right range of motion because think if your shoulders are protruding forward, you're pushing the bar further. You don't want to do that if you're going for maximum maximum weight. Besides keeping your shoulders healthy and all that stuff, by building Jonathan's upper back, he's gonna do a, a whole separate back day today. We'll hit some back today here, and what we're gonna do is we're building more muscle right there too. We're building like a launching pad, so rows. Think about a rose, almost the opposite of a bench press, or in a lot of ways it is opposite of a bench press. We are building this crazy launch pad that's gonna blast 500 pounds into oblivion. Press! There you go. Press! Yeah! Press! Good! Yep, good. Down. Good. Squeeze it. Down. Yep. Down. Good. Squeeze down. One more. Down. Yep. Here we go. Good. Good. Get your normal grip, whatever you're going to. You, you're offset. Okay, there you go. Yeah, yeah. Good. Okay. Here we go. Good. Perfect. Okay. Power off the bottom is the name of the game for a big bench press. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah. No, no, stop. Oh, every 30 seconds you do one. Just focus on maximum explosion. You can kind of chill out. For this is a dead bench right here. So what this does is this builds starting strength off of your chest. So think about how much force can you develop rapidly. That's starting strength. Very important for the bench press. So specifically, this is going to help Jonathan because here's why. He's a bodybuilder. So bodybuilders do repetition after repetition. So they maximize that stretch reflex thing. It's like a rubber band. Elastic like energy propels, you store it on the way down, assists on the way up. So he's trained that way forever, but we need to get that freaking dead stop, starting strength right there. When you go on a bench press and a powerlifting meet, if they make you pause for one second, about 50% of that stored elastic like energy from the stretch reflex dissipates, it's gone, it's all you. So you, you know, when you're used to training this way, you sort of get that free lunch off the bottom. This is like welfare reform, on the bench press. We are cutting out that free lunch. You have to do it all yourself. So if we can get that blasting strength at the bottom, you think about it. If you're out of the groove, no matter what happens, if you can blast that weight hard enough, you will go right past those sticking points. You will blast past those sticking points if you move this son of a bitch fast enough. And we will build that strength with these dead bench presses. Right there, perfect. All the way up, all the way up. There you go. There you go. All the way up. Want to go down a little bit or you can get all the way? How many do we need to do? Three sets of six. Weighted dips. 
are either a winner or they're a loser. There's some type of movement which some people get a lot out of them. Other people, it kind of hurts them to do them. So it's one of those things that usually like, hey, bench pressing hurts my shoulder. You say, great, do a way to dip and they feel better. Or other people, it causes you know more problems and it helps. So it's one of those types of movement. We, um, Jonathan, we've done arm work and stuff in the past. He's done well with dips, so we get a huge transference. Pat Casey, Al Davis, all these guys that have built huge bench presses, especially you know people that are under about 350 pounds have used weighted dips. You know a lot of these guys have done it, so it's a huge movement, a big bang for your buck movement, chest, triceps, and assists the bench press. A little bit different movement pattern. He's already fatigued from all the other bench press. Okay, so from there, uh, from weighted dips, so we went three sets of six, two minute break on those weighted dips, and we talk about the rest periods here. Everything we're doing has a prescribed rest period. If you work out, even though all this volume we're doing, it ain't. It's gonna take you know 80, 90 minutes at most, and it shouldn't take longer than that. If you're, if if not. You're dragging ass between sets, and that's, you know, that's on you at that point. You're not doing what you're supposed to do. From there, going to dumbbell pause, floor flies. You know, dumbbell pause, floor flies are a lot easier on the shoulder than regular flies, and it keeps great tension on the muscle the whole time you get it. Pause, break up that eccentric, concentric chain, and squeeze together. You want to stop those dumbbells about six inches apart to maintain tension on your chest and maximize the movement. Three sets, 12 reps. 60 Please. second break, onto there. Dumbbell dumbbell pause, floor Please. tricep extensions. There you go. go five sets of 12 there today. Go. We're in a 90 second Four break more. on those bad boys. And again, go. they're paused on the floor. You got that nice big pad in the floor. Keep go. upper back tight and safe. Break up that eccentric, concentric chain. And boom, this has huge transfers to the bench press. Five sets of 12, 90 second break. And there you go, great first day for Jonathan. 500 is gonna happen and it might even be more.